Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to mathematics lecture today we will continue with the same chapter that is differentiation in the previous lecture we have completed derivatives of the parametric functions that is the functions where x and y both are depends on the new variable say as t okay so in the previous uh, video we have seen how to apply this uh, parametric rule to find the derivative of the parametric functions and yes we have completed exercise 3.5 hope so you all are practicing at home now our uh, today's topic is higher order derivative which is the last sub topic of the our chapter differentiation okay now so let's uh, have a look at the notations of the higher order derivative and understand this one with the example okay so let's begin first of all let's take an example of a function say if we have y is equal to f of x as x raised to 5 okay here we have an example of a function which is very common of the type x raised to n that is an algebraic function y is equal to f of x as x raised to 5 now if this function is differentiable with respect to x when we say the function is differentiable it means its derivative exists okay so here if this y is differentiable function of the x it means dy by dx that is the derivative of y with respect to x which is also represented as f dash of x when we write f dash of x it means derivative of f of x okay or you may represent it as y1 y1 that is the first order derivative of the y with respect to x or we have the another notation for the same as y prime that is or we say y dash so all these are the notations for the same that is derivative of y with respect to x which is also known as the first order derivative why it is first order derivative because it is the first derivative of y with respect to x okay so here if our function is x raised to 5 so its first order derivative will be 5 time x raised to 4 that is uh, we are applying the derivative of x raised to n which is index multiplied by coefficient index 1 less right then if this function that is f dash of x that is the first order derivative of y with respect to x if it is also a differentiable function of the x means its derivative exists so in that case if we are differentiating the same again with respect to x so we will have d2y by dx squared that is d2y by dx squared when we write this 2 it means it is the second order derivative of y with respect to x which is represented by f double dash of x or you may write it as y2 ok or y double dash so these are all the notations for the second order derivative of y with respect to x so for this given example 5 times x raised to 4 its second order derivative will be uh, 5 fours are 20 then x raised to 3 right here we are applying derivative of x raised to n ok so dy by dx it is the first order derivative then we have d2y by dx squared which is the second order derivative next if we are going if we go on differentiating the given function like this so we have the third order derivative then we'll have fourth order derivative and fifth order derivative and so on but this function or this process or we may say these uh, higher order derivatives at some particular point this derivative will become zero because see here we have this algebraic function right and the index of the algebraic function is 5 so whenever you have an algebraic function of degree n when we say degree n means it is the highest power of the function right so here since the degree of our function is 5 so it means here the fifth order derivative fifth order derivative means d phi y d phi y by dx raised to 5 
this one the fifth order derivative of the given function will be zero uh, you may go on finding the other derivatives that is third order fourth order then definitely you will have fifth order derivative of the function x raised to 5 as zero because here we have the result see uh, whenever we have the function of degree n so always its nth derivative will be zero for example uh, if you wanna prove see this one uh, the third order derivative shall we write it as y3 so the third order derivative of the function will be it is 60 x square right then we'll have fourth order derivative which will be uh, 2 6 is a 12 it is x then we'll have fifth order derivative it is 120 uh, six, sixth order derivative is 0 sorry so here instead of fifth order it is sixth order derivative of the given function is 0 it means whenever we have the function of degree n then after nth order derivative will be constant and all other derivatives after that will be 0 or uh, let's take another example suppose we have a function say whose degree is uh, 7 okay if the degree of the function is 7 it means its 7th order derivative will be constant and all the derivatives after that that is 8 9 10 and so on so all the derivatives after the 7th order derivative will be 0 it is one of the very important result of this uh, derivative of the algebraic functions which uh, we use it in the chapter application of the differentiation okay so here we just have to learn how to find the second order derivative of the given function which is uh, the problems of which given in the exercise 3.6 so let's begin with the exercise 3.6 now here we have the first problem of the exercise 3.6 so find dy by dx if y is equal to root x sorry it is find d2y by dx squared that is the second order derivative of the given function y is equal to root x our function is a simple algebraic function right we have the given function as y is equal to root x so differentiating with respect to x that is dy by dx when we write dy by dx means it is the first order derivative see until and unless we have the first order derivative how can't we find the second order derivative right so first of all we have to find the first order derivative then by differentiating the first order derivative we will get the second order derivative ok so dy by dx will be 1 upon 2 root x because we know the derivative of root is 1 upon 2 root right the next since we have to find second order derivative so we have to differentiate the given function again with respect to x so again differentiating it with respect to x so we will have d2y by dx squared is equal to then this 1 by 2 as it is now here let's understand this one here we have this 1 by 2 as it is then we have 1 upon root x see root x means x raised to minus half when we write it in the index form sorry x raised to plus half root x is x raised to plus half since it is in denominator so when we write it in the numerator the power will become negative so we'll have x raised to minus half so 1 upon root x in index form it can be written as x raised to minus half okay so now its derivative will be half is the coefficient so we'll write it as it is then we'll apply the derivative of x raised to n where value of n is minus half okay so it is n time x raised to n minus 1 that is minus half minus 1 this is the derivative of the algebraic function right see it's a basic that we have already learned in the previous videos okay now the second order derivative of the given function is this here we have minus 1 by 4 then x raised to minus half minus 1 which is minus 3 by 2 that is cube root of x right so 
here we have this second order derivative of the given function y is equal to root of x see if we are asked to find the third order derivative that is d3y by dx cube so in that case what we do here we have the second order derivative again we'll differentiate this one with respect to x so we'll have the third order derivative and so on okay so this is how we have to find it now hope hope so you got it now let's move to the next problem now our next problem is find dy by dx if y is equal to e raised to 2x plus 1 means see so first of all our function is what it is y is equal to e raised to 2x plus 1 here we have this d2y by dx square that is the second order derivative now first of all let's understand the given function what it is it is a composite function of exponential and algebraic right because the standard form of the given function is y is equal to e raised to x but, see, but here this x is replaced by 2x plus 1 so here we have this composite function right so we will find the derivative of the given function using chain rule right so to find the second order derivative first of all we have to find first order derivative so let's differentiate it with respect to x so we have this dy by dx is equal to now the derivative of the exponential function we know derivative of the exponential function is itself only right so derivative of e raised to 2x plus 1 will be e raised to 2x plus 1 right then next we have to take the derivative of 2x plus 1 so its derivative is derivative of 2x is 2 and derivative of 1 is 0 why because it is a constant function so we have this dy by dx is equal to 2 time e raised to 2x plus 1 that's it it is the first order derivative you may represent it as y1 okay now to get the second order derivative let's differentiate it with respect to x again okay so we'll have this d2y by dx squared is equal to now the second order derivative since this 2, equal, 2 is coefficient so we'll write it as it is then derivative of e raised to 2x plus 1 will be itself only and again we have to multiply the given quantity with this derivative of 2x plus 1 so the derivative of 2x plus 1 will be same again that is 2 plus 0 so we have this d2y by dx squared is equal to so this is we have this 2 2 are 4 then e raised to 2x plus 1 so here we have the second order derivative of that okay it's very simple right so hope you got it now let's move to the next problem now here again we have to find the second order derivative of the given function where the function is y is equal to e raised to log x see y is equal to e raised to log x observation says this function is a composite function of the exponential logarithmic one right you can go on differentiating this like e raised to log x then derivative of log x is 1 by x and all but to observe here we can apply property of the logarithm or the laws of the logarithm that we have learned in the logarithmic differentiation method see here this e raised to log of x it is simply log of x means here we have this natural log right so here if this base is not given it means here we have base e so the logarithmic base is e so whenever we have the property of the logarithm these two are same that is base this uh, this one and this e uh, if these two are same so in that case the answer is simply y is equal to x right 
that this property of the logarithm we have already seen in logarithmic differentiation method right so now our function simplifies to y is equal to x only so we have to differentiate this one okay so here we have to find the second order derivative see the first the degree of the function since we have only x here right so it is it means it is x raised to 1 that is the degree of the function is 1 so it's since degree of the function is 1 it means its first derivative will be constant and after that all the derivatives will be 0 ok so let's see how here we have dy by dx that is differentiating with respect to x so uh, if you want to write it you can actually we should write it it is differentiating with respect to x so dy by dx that is the first order derivative it will be 1 only because n is 1 na? so n time x raised to n minus 1 that is x raised to 1 minus 1 so x raised to 0 means 1 so no need to write it ok so uh, the first order derivative is 1 see since the degree is 1 so its first order derivative is constant right now if one derivative is constant it means all the derivatives after that has to be 0 because derivative of the constant function is 0 right so again differentiating with respect to x so we'll have this d2y by dx squared which is 0 why it is 0 because the second order derivative derivative is 0 because the first order derivative is constant so see all the problems of the exercise 3.6 are very simple now the miscellaneous uh, next we have the miscellaneous problem which is uh, that problems you have to solve it right and yes regarding the solved examples of this so all the solved examples which is based on this one that is second order derivative or the higher order derivative so all the solved examples of the second order derivatives are for self study no questions will be asked from the solved examples of the second order derivative in your final exam for the current academic year huh? due to this coronavirus pandemic ok so for the current academic year you have to prepare only the solved examples of the this one next of uh, this uh, parametric functions or what uh, what was that parametric or no only one ok uh, Um, so from the whole chapter we have to prepare only the solved examples of the implicit functions ok and all the other solved examples are for self study and yes uh, the activities which are given in the miscellaneous exercise that is uh, on the page number 101 and 102 on these two pages whatever activities are given it is also for your self study you won't have these activities problems in your final exam ok so here we have completed our chapter third chapter of the paper one that is differentiation so uh, see this chapter is very simple and we have this derivative of the first we have learned the derivative of the composite functions that right using this chain rule then we have learned this logarithmic differentiation method then a parametric functions implicit functions then we have the second order derivative and uh, most of the exercise have not more than nine problems okay the exercise is also very small and solved examples are also for the self study it means uh, we are not going to ask any problems from the solved example in your final exam except the solved examples of the implicit functions ok it means uh, your syllabus is very reduced right so start practicing this one because until and unless you have the this uh, good command over this differentiation we can't move on to the next chapter which is integration ok so to have the good understanding of the integration you should know this 
differentiation very well okay so start practicing for uh, for the next chapter integration you have to prepare this differentiation very very well okay so start practicing thank you all the very best